So in today's quick less than five minute session, we'll quickly discuss the important three types of vaginitis, that is bacterial vaginosis, trichomoniasis, and vaginal candidiasis. Now, these are the three most important types of vaginitis and questions repeatedly come on this topic. That's why it is very, very important. So the first one is bacterial vaginosis. So bacterial vaginosis, how is the discharge? Very important. It is white, thin, homogeneous, non-viscous, and also the patient will have a foul odor or she'll complain of a bad smelling discharge. She won't have any other symptoms. There will not be any erythema. When we put in a speculum, the vagina cervix will appear absolutely normal. pH is more than 4.5. And how do we diagnose this? By AMSEL criteria, where three out of these four have to be there. At least three have to be there. That is clue cells. We make a wet mouth. We see clue cells. We add QOH. We get a amine odor. That's WIF test. The pH more than 4.5. And the type of discharge, homogeneous, non-viscous, milky white discharge. So if any three of these are there, it is called as, it is diagnosis, diagnostic of bacterial vaginosis. The second discharge is trichomoniasis caused by the organism protozoal trichomoniasis vaginalis. And what is the type of discharge? Yellow, frothy, foul odor. So bad smelling discharge, which is yellow and frothy. The patient will also have pruritus and dysuria. And when you put in a speculum, you'll see this reddish vagina that is strawberry vagina. pH is more than 4.5. And how do we diagnose this? By seeing the flagellate organism in the, under the microscope. Candidiasis is a thick, curdy white discharge. We all know this. And it is odorless. The patient will also have pruritus, also have dysuria. Erythema will definitely be present here also. pH characteristically is acidic, very important, less than 4.5. And when we make a smear or a wet mount, we see pseudo hyphae or spores. Several image based questions can also come. Flu cells are seen. What are flu cells? They're vaginal epithelial cells, which are surrounded by uh, gram negative rods. That's how flu cells look like. It came as a question in the last INICT. It is very frequently asked. Trichomoniasis, you can see these nice flagellated organisms. This is trichomoniasis. And these are the pseudo hyphae seen on a smear of candidiasis. So these are very, very important. You should know these three infections.